In human history, many ancient and splendid civilizations were born and died. China is the only country with uninterrupted human civilization. Chinese civilization was born on the shores of the Yellow River in 2800 BC. And the fertile land where Chinese civilization began is Hunan province. The Yellow River traverses central Hunan. It is China's main north to south and east to west artery. China's most ancient tribal leaders, the Yellow Emperor and the Yan Emperor, were born here. Even today, Chinese people all over the world still call each other the descendants of these two emperors. The magnificent river holds an unshakable position in the heart of every Chinese, worshipped by every generation and called the Mother River. With wit, diligence and tenacity, Chinese descendants pursue coexistence and common prosperity on this land. The 5,000 kilometer Yellow River breaks the last barrier and flows into the broad plain, forming the cradle of Chinese civilization. With 2,000 years history, the Yellow River has nourished 13 dynasties capital, Luoyang, 10 dynasties capital, Kaifeng, and the biggest economic center in its basin, Zhengzhou. In the long history of China, there were 20 dynasties. Over 200 emperors built or moved their capital here. This lasted for over 3,200 years. That left many valuable cultural relics in Henan. Three of them are listed as World Cultural Heritage Sites, including the center of heaven and earth, the Longmen Grottoes, and Yin Dynasty ruins. In ancient Chinese cosmology, China was regarded as the center of the heaven and earth, and the center of China was Dengfeng. Therefore, Dengfeng became a popular location for the capitals and cultural centers of early dynasties. The three mainstream cultures, Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism, set up bases here to carry forward their culture. And the essence lies in the buildings of the center of heaven and earth, which have the longest history, most building types, and the richest cultural connotations. Writing is one of the most important manifestations of civilization. The oracle bone inscriptions found in the Yin Dynasty ruins in Anyang top the ten greatest archaeological discoveries in the 20th century. As some of the oldest characters in the world, their cultural significance is remarkable. Fortunately, we can still enjoy their everlasting charm in the ruins of Yin Dynasty. If characters are the manifestation of abstract civilization, stone inscription can be seen as the concrete representation of civilization. Longmen Grottoes, the magnificent stone carving complex in ancient China, with its over 100,000 statues stretching along one kilometer, was completed in pieces over 400 years from the Northern Wei Dynasty to the Tang Dynasty until the Northern Song Dynasty. It represents the highest achievement in the art of sculpture, which is a real treasure in China in terms of religion, fine arts, architecture, and calligraphy.
In the long history of Chinese civilization, we may feel that the unique Chinese characteristics are all around us and all within us, which is, to a large extent, reflected in Kung Fu. Kung Fu, or martial arts, can only be mastered through hard work and practice, which contains rich yet profound Chinese philosophy, whether in curing diseases and improving health or in subduing the enemy and preventing conflict. Kung Fu can even have an effect on the daily lives of Kung Fu fighters. All styles or schools of martial arts originate from Shaolin Temple. Today, Shaolin Kung Fu has become a window of Chinese culture to the world, which also turns Shaolin Temple into the most influential holy land of martial arts in the world. Moreover, Tai Chi or shadow boxing, another school of Kung Fu in Chinese martial art culture, was born here as well. It's said that when a fighter surnamed Chen saw the symbol of Tai Chi in a place named Chen Jia Go, where two rivers flowed together, he then founded the world famous school of martial art, Tai Chi, after realizing that the universe consists of yin and yang. Tai Chi, because of its combination of Chinese Confucianism and Taoism, Oriental inclusive concept, and unremitting effort to the unity of nature and man, can help attain the goals of self-cultivation and longevity. Chinese civilization, with its thousands of years of history, is just like an old man, remaining stubborn, tenacious, intelligent, and industrious. No matter what happens in the world, he is always standing there with a big smile and an inclusive attitude. The cradle of Chinese civilization is a treasure trove of cultural relics, defying the concepts of space and time and shining brightly over us. China, Henan. 